have a wonderful group of paintings by Alexis Preller coming up in our 7 November sale. It's particularly interesting to me that we have these two works which bookend his career. Uh, this one on my right is called Braying the Reams. Uh, it was a work that was painted in 1935, which is pretty much the first year that Preller decides to dedicate his life to his uh, painting career. And then this one on my left is called Tower of Babel II, and it's from 1975, which is the year he died. It was a work that was painted for his final Goodman Gallery show, um, and he died in the December uh, before the work was ever hung. Um, Braying the Reams um, was, was painted just after Preller arrived back from London. He was at the Westminster School of Art. He traveled back to South Africa via the east coast of Africa. And you can tell, I suppose, um, that he was still very much uh, influenced by uh, his idols at the time, uh, Van Gogh and Gauguin. Interestingly, um, this work uh, was bought by um, relatives of the current owner in 1935. And one of their relatives loved the painting so much that they commissioned a copy immediately afterwards. Um, but this is the original that Preller painted in 1935. It shows a man twisting leather uh, in preparation for uh, furniture making. And the colors are very much in the post-impressionist palette that Van Gogh, of course, uh, is so famous for, these wonderful deep blues um, and these electric greens. I think what's so amazing um, is that from this work to this, uh, you do see this visual and iconographical journey that Preller makes from 1935 to 1975.